Uh, hello. Uh, well, I'm Camila. Uh, I'm also a visiting uh, PhD candidate here. My PhD is in Brazil, in Getúlio Vargas Foundation. And my research is about uh, poverty areas and how these poverty areas are um, being mobilized as tourist attractions, especially in, in Rio de Janeiro. So, uh, just some general data. Uh, one in seven people live in slums all over the world. It's, today, it's 33% of the human population live in slums all over the world. In the 80s, these slums were framed as tourist attractions. Um, the main ones are in South Africa, Rio de Janeiro, and India. 8% uh, eight eight of the flow is in Brazil and in South Africa. Um, this is just a timeline uh, uh, that was built by a, a researcher from Germany. And it shows uh, the, the first main destinations was South Africa, then Brazil, then Mexico, and India, and then it was expanding to Egypt, Argentina, um, South East Asia. Um, so these are the main destinations uh, today. Um, and Rio de Janeiro, that is uh, where I am from and where I, I conduct my research. So Rio de Janeiro is the capital city. But also is the seat of contrast. It's a city with 6.32 million of people, and 22% of the population live in favelas. Right? It's the slum areas that we have in Rio. Uh, this is a picture of one of the favelas. This is a favela in the middle of the mountain. Almost all of them are in the mountain, uh, in the mountains. It's like that, and we have 763 favelas. Uh, some favelas have. A hundred families, some favelas, sorry, a hundred people, and some favelas have a uh, hundred and thousand people. Uh, some favelas are really cities inside the city. Um, and this city was framed also <coughs> as a tourist attraction. This is Rocinha, it's the main favela, it's the, fa the biggest favela, it's the one with a hundred thousand, more than a hundred thousand people. It's the main tourist attraction after Corcovado, Sugarloaf, the main tourist attractions of the city. It's Rocinha, it's the third place where tourists go in the city. Um, but nowadays, it's not only Rocinha. Actually, this favela tourism has expanded to other favelas in the city, <coughs> and mainly by public policies. Actually, the government um, uh, started to, to develop some projects uh, to, to, to have more tourists in these favelas, to develop jobs, to, to create new jobs and uh, have a flow of capitals to these places. It's over? Yeah, okay, yeah. no problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. There is anyone else? Move it on to the next one, yeah. No, but it's just actually the tourism mobility. Actually, I'm just seeing uh, how these favelas now are being made and remade uh, to attract people on the move in the context of the mega events of the city, the FIFA World Cup and the Olympic Games. And actually, uh, I'm looking also to the favelas that want to be tourists, and they, they want tourists, but they cannot have tourists because they are not in the tourist area. So they are not looking to the sea. They, are, they, they have all this, kind of, this, this kind of view. They, they don't have view to the ocean, they have a view to other areas of the city, so they are not so attractive. And uh, this is an issue uh, in the tourism research also, why some places are tourists and some places aren't. That's it. <laughs> okay.